Hello everybody, and it's Shady here again. And as always, we are back with Final Fantasy XII. So, obviously, um, as you remember, we have to get uh, onto the Osman Plains to Jahara to visit the Gareth, who are gonna um, hopefully show us the workings of the Dawn Shard. So, obviously now, um, as part of a story event, the Giza Plains have uh, transformed into like the rainy period now. Um, let's just see our character's levels. Um, yeah, I'm gonna actually switch into these lot now. I've got a, uh, let me see if I've got a spear. No, it's fine. But yeah, um, as you can see now it's like completely changed. Instead of being like a wasteland, we have like rain and uh, everything looks nice and green. Um, another thing, the enemies are slightly different as well. They're a little bit more powerful um, to match what I level should be at this point. Yeah, we'll fast forward as always. Yeah, just makes these sections a bit quicker. Yeah, let's change. I've got two arrow ones, that's fucking st stupid. We'll just go with thunder. Oh yeah, oh my god, I'm so stupid, I took off a gambit, didn't I? Yep, there we go. Great. And... Yeah, we just, uh... Yeah, pretty much is around the same as what it was before. Um, yeah, there's a little thing we have to do around here, so basically um, we need to build like a bridge and there should be little like, um, there's going to be these little trees that we're going to cut down. I don't think there's one actually here in this first area. Um, yeah, they're going to be like these white looking trees. That is actually weak to fire this lad, so we'll burn him. Burn, burn, now you're gonna burn. Uh, sorry, that was, um, yeah, oh, there's one there. Um, yeah, sorry, that was me doing um, Rage Against the Machine there, <laughs> for some reason. What was that song called again? I can't remember. <laughs> Stop bloody attacking Pinello, pricks. Bloody hell. Leave her alone. Uh, yeah, so you see here, I will beat up this guy. There we go, level up as well, nice. Yeah, so you see that with the tree withered tree. Strike the tree. <laughs> And what's funny is obviously, um, you know, if it's a, typically you'd use a sword weapon and they would like strike it, but yeah, he actually just shoots it down, which is funny as hell to me. <laughs> yeah, let's go into this section. And yeah, as you can see, there's only one dude here. So let's speak to him. My precious ring, gone, eaten, eaten by the crocodile. Yep. Yeah. I don't know if that's meant to be a nod to the Pokemon. This isn't that the name of um, that one from Gen 2, the water type. I swear Crocodile is his first name. Well, his first name, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Crocodile the second. No, um, I swear that he's referred to um, his first form, um, first stage of evolution as Crocodile. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's save up. And obviously, as always, when I save, you will just get a blank screen, annoyingly. No idea why that is, uh, but it is the case, anyway. Yeah, this, um, this water's very calming, or the rain, rather. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I was, um, yeah, I don't know, it, it helps relax me anyway. Um, yeah, obviously in England, uh, it basically rains most of the year anyway. Yeah, so pretty much 
yeah, we have a lot of extremes when it comes to the weather in this country. Um, yeah, it's either gonna like piss it down raining, uh, be absolutely fucking freezing, or um, you're gonna have uh, you know like crazy heat, like, like this here, for example. Um, it's funny because it was actually during um, when Final Fantasy 16 was out. Uh, so when I was playing FF16 we actually had a heatwave and uh, I think it was like 30 plus or something like that it didn't get quite to 40 um, but yeah it was like I think it was like 35 or something for a few days so I was trying to play well I was playing Final Fantasy 16 and like it was just too bloody hot okay and we're gonna change that to fire because the guy is actually weak to fire so it actually makes sense hey do some actual damage yes yeah, so I was playing the game and what's funny is obviously I had to like keep myself cool and then also like you know um, make sure my console wasn't too overheated I mean it seemed to be fine thankfully but yeah it was kind of a bit funny though, I was just worried, oh my god, I hope my console doesn't explode or something. <laughs> but thankfully it was fine. Um, yeah, I actually had like, I'd have a couple of fans, one little desk fan just pointing at my PlayStation. Um, not that I think it made any difference. And then yeah, one just for me. And yeah, that, that I had to like constantly just splash water on myself, just to keep myself cool. Yay, leveled up again, that's nice. Yeah, um, but anyway, yeah, um, I do love, uh, I don't mind when it rains actually, um, as long as I'm not having to go out. Oh yeah, elementals, yeah, we don't want to repeat what happened last time. Uh, if you remember an early episode, um, but yeah, they just absolutely obliterated me. Uh, okay, it's fine. It's not around, so it's fine. Yeah, so I may have explained already, but elementals, if they see you use magic, they just get like pissed off or something and just want you, want to make sure that you're dead. Um, I think it's basically um, maybe they can just sense the magic power or something. I'm not quite sure what the, the law reasons are. But yeah, I think when they sense magic, they just want to destroy something. Because only they may use magic. Um, and obviously, uh, as you can imagine, you know, they are one of those other en enemies that are um, pretty much just taken from Dungeons and Dragons. Um, I'm sure everyone knows this, but you know that was one of the big inspirations for Final Fantasy. Um, and also Dragon Quest as well. Well, most RPGs in general, really. It was kind of like, you know, the first real RPG, wasn't it? Um, oh no. Why do I take fast forward off? I'm being stupid, I? What the heck am I doing? Go this way, you idiot. Okay, let's get out of there. I don't want that dude attacking me. Yeah, so... Where is it? Yeah, I don't think... I actually can't remember how many of those branches we have to take out, so... Okay. 221 gil. Oh, that will uh, help out, I guess. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. Ooh, two frogs. Yeah, and as you can tell, um, yeah, the HP up thing basically means that they um, uh, that's like you know the regen status. Yeah, it's just the opposite. Works the opposite of sap, pretty much. Yeah. Where well, like every second you gain, I think it's one or two um, HP. Yeah, there's a lot of um, different status effects in this one. 
uh, a few more than your usual Final Fantasy anyway. You know, there, there was, um, it's always been strange in Final Fantasy. Uh, Golden Needle um, cures Petrify, uh, if you could imagine, you know. Um, yeah, it's always been strange in Final Fantasy because um, they always, um, oh, yeah, um, yeah they, always, they don't always have a consistent amount with all the status effects. Why do you start attacking us? I'm really confused. Because it only attacks you if you attack it, I think. I don't know. Maybe, uh... Oh, no! Uh-oh. Let's get that out there. God, why do I have to be everywhere? These freaking elementals. There we go. I've knocked this down. How am I so unlucky with these dudes? Like, seriously, I think it's, like, quite rare to actually see that many. It's like, what the heck? Yep. Yeah, and then they sort of drift away slowly, even though, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, you do actually see them. Okay, okay, that's cool. I didn't think you did. Um, yeah, obviously, this way, as you can see, that takes us to the west of San, so we don't want to go there. Yeah, let's see over here. That's the path we're trying to create there, I think. Is that? Or something? Maybe not. Okay, so. I believe we've still got a couple more of these to get. Oh. That's that enemy. Is he, um, I think he has, I think he's weak to like ice or something, I need to double check that shit, uh, that stuff. Um, Oh no, I think he is actually weak to fire. Um, okay. I think what we'll do is we'll bring Vaughn. And Ashen. Decoy on. Bloody hell. Yeah. Yeah, probably just helps to not have bloody fast forward on like an idiot. Hello, healed up. Oh, I better just automatically do it. Okay. Oh no, he has it already. Come on. Okay, we're gonna bring Bosch back in. And hopefully he'll actually get some. There we go. A few combos on the go. This shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, do we have... What does that do? Hmm. No. Uh, all right. Let's get a drain on the go, see what that does. Ooh. That actually does a good amount of um, thing. Okay. Um, where are we at? That's Gambit.
Yeah, I mean, obviously, really, you would set this up beforehand. <laughs> Drains on the go, hopefully. Right, here we go. What's? Nice. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure you'll go into like pissy boss mode again when um when his HP's low, as always, as you can imagine with these motherfuckers. We should have him by now. Shouldn't be an issue. I just like forgot he's here <laughs> for some reason. <sighs> Bosh, you idiot. Characters just want to die. <laughs> Good thing I have a lot of uh, Phoenix Downs. And can you just get Cura off, please? Oh, she doesn't have the MP, that's why. Okay. Okay. Let's quickly get Fran back in. She can cure us up. She beat the guy. Isn't that nice? Yep. Nice. Okay. Obviously, we've got to go back to actually, like, uh, you know. We've got to actually um, hand in the thing now, so. Um, let's do check. Is there anything around there? I think there might be something there. Maybe not. We'll go down this one. I was on them. Let's go down this way. Uh, we're going to go up around anyway, because we need to look around anyway, so... Okay, we'll just get a quick heal going on. Got to knock this one down. Tch. Nice. Uh, hey, how you doing? Ah. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a... A tough one, so... Yeah, I would suggest not doing this one yet. Yep. Yeah. 
Ah. Yeah, so I think it's like it got too big, so you have to beat it and then trap it in there or something. Can't remember. Got to do something. But anyway, uh, let's carry on. Okay, and then we'll just give her. See it, so hopefully we should be fine. said this already but obviously with guns they're not the strongest but they always ignore defense so very useful or at least they can have their uses obsessed with attacking the weakest character like does my head in okay. I think we're almost where we need to be to silence you first and then they'll kill you so. Front of her thing there as well. So. There we go. I think this is the last one now. Yep. Obviously, that sound I think is to indicate that it's uh, it's just complete or something. Okay. 
so many toads. But yeah, as you can tell, because yeah, the enemies are a little stronger now, it's actually a decent area to level a little bit. So. Okay. And yeah, I think it's time to switch my people around again. And yeah, let's take decoy off. And we'll speak to this guy. If you notice, he looked a bit transparent there. Yeah, I did. Nice. Yeah, so... So yeah, this is something we have to do in the dry season. Um, oh, I just got regen. That's cool. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah, nothing we can actually do at the moment. So yeah. Um, right now we can't go into the dry season. Oh my god. Uh, so basically, um, how it works is, um, obviously after this story section, we'd be able to just enter the, uh, the dry it kind of, um, I think it's randomised um, what the season is. So you'd have to like load and reload, or if you teleport in, um, it's likely to be one or the other. So okay, yeah. So we just have to, as you can imagine, just go all the way down to that blue bit there. Um, so basically, this um, in the dry season, this area is just a dead end. So you can't actually travel here um, at, in that point in time. But yeah, when it's the um, the wet season, it, you can actually traverse down here. So pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, this dude is one of those Gareth people. So yeah, like I said, occasionally you'll have like NPCs about doing their own thing. Um, yeah, and they'll just fight enemies, and then you know you can help them if you want. It's up to you. Did we miss one? Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Sorry, yeah, that was actually for the, um, that gill snapper guy. We need, I think. Or might be wrong. Anyway, let's go down here. And yeah, this takes us to the Osman Plain. Sorry, I called it the Ozma plane. Sorry, that, that's the boss from Final Fantasy IX. But yeah, this is a cool looking area. Um, as you can see there, I think that's like meant to be an airship that's crashed, which is kind of cool. Yeah, I like this area. This almost reminds me um, a little bit of the, the Calm Lands or something from... Um, this guy's level 20, so a little bit stronger. Yeah, it reminds me of Calm Lands from Final Fantasy X a bit. Another really annoying thing about this area is you get a lot of flying enemies, which is bloody annoying. Yeah, if we will take Bosch out, I'll bring Fran in. Cozied itself basically. Uh, but.
Yeah, just because the flying enemies are bloody annoying. We'll, uh... We'll leave these three in. And then... Gambits wise, we'll just... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this area is pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, that's the thing you've probably noticed about this place. You have, um, you know, you'll have these sort of zone, big zone-based areas um, that you traverse between either you know, dungeons or or uh, towns. So, because obviously back here you couldn't actually do open world games, so it's kind of the closest thing they were capable of doing back here. Um, obviously, you did have sandbox games, you know, the likes of uh, GTA. Um, but yeah, that was that was kind of an exception. Um, also, you know, Rockstar were the only ones who kind of had an engine that was capable of doing that sort of thing. And obviously, those games looked, um, you know, didn't quite have the graphical prowess of something like this. So. Obviously, this is like a very late PS2 game, so um, even though the remaster does improve the visuals, uh, the texture slightly and everything, um, yeah, it's not hugely, you know, like, um, it's not like a humongous improvement from the original. You know what I mean? Like, the PS2 version still looked good. Um, the main difference is that it just looks a lot cleaner, um, yeah, because... That to basically, uh, I think I explained this already, but oh yeah, this is Zertman Caverns. Um, yeah, that to basically put everything, yeah, these guys are ridiculous level, by the way, so yeah, there's a reason why we'd never go into the Zertman Cavern. Yeah, um, it is an area we will be coming to later, because there's a, a secret boss in there that we're going to fight, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, because there's certain, a lot of optional bosses in this game. And, uh, yeah, I do intend to, f I don't know if I'll do everything, but I'll, uh, intend to get as many as I can anyway. Oh, I better keep the camera up slightly. That's too claustrophobic when you have a lot of that. Okay. Bloody dying. Can you please stay alive, Penelo? Oh my god. Yeah, there is a lot to see in this area, as you can tell. Um yeah. And also the best thing is that this isn't actually a a desert, so that really helps out, you know? The variation. Um, yeah, we did see a lot of them early on, but, you know, we... There is a lot more variety in the game, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, really, really, you know, really, really just got started. There is a, this is a big game. Um, you know, like I said, it's... The closest thing they could do to, like, an open world back here, so... Um, Oh, if you see over there, there's. We're gonna see an enemy. Uh, another one of these dudes here. That's another one of the uh, Gareth people. Oh, yeah, by the way, the Berserk status, um, which is what that when you're all red means. Um, it just basically uh, means that all you can do is attack, like. sort of uncontrollably, but it improves your attack power. And I think it also does help with your um, combo potential as well, so... 
Uh, obviously, we don't have the Berserk spell just yet, but it's very useful when you have a uh, like to use for a monk, for example. Which is what Vaughn is, so that's something we'll be um, taking a look at later, anyway. Hey. Also, um, yeah, we will. We will be around this area for a bit, by the way, so. Just so you know. So, obviously, you know. Um, the awesome plane. Like we've, you know, we haven't really explored a lot of it, but we will be getting more into it, so. Uh, but yeah, we are now. In the uh, in Jahara, I'm just saving up quickly. Um, yeah, and this is like the Gareth's kind of homeland, or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, really cool area. Hello, how you doing? I just want to talk to your chief, mate. Is anything wrong with that? Nice. Hmm. You obviously, uh... We don't get too many of your tap around here. Or we don't take kindly of your time out here, or whatever they say in South Park. Obviously, I'm referencing the. Um, you have those like uh, redneck dudes, um, the guys in the bar who always say, "We don't take kindly of your time out here. We don't take kindly to people who don't take kindly around here," or however that goes. <laughs> anyway, let's speak to some people. Yep. I have, in fact, yes. But yeah, this is, um, as you can tell, this is kind of almost uh, Native American vibes, I would say, or something. They're kind of like, you know, this almost this like kind of warrior tribe or something. They kind of, who like to keep to themselves. But anyway, let's sell all our trash. Don't you love doing this? And yeah, this is the one thing that annoys me about this remaster. So they didn't just give us the option to sell all. Like, could it really been that hard? And yeah, chocobo feathers go for a pretty penny as well. Mmm. What was this? Ooh, I think that might be good. Yeah, we've got some decent weapons there. As well, so... Yeah, healing rod. This is an interesting, interesting one because uh, it actually lets you, um, like, you you deal damage to um, by striking with it. If I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, let's actually do some licenses and stuff. Definitely do a more HP. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream at that.
nice bit of HP. Mm. Yeah, we'll uh, get a couple of these as well. Yeah, that's a really good one. That That's a good one, because when your HP's full, you basically get to do extra damage, which is awesome. And yeah, we'll teach us some of these magics, which is uh, very useful. Um, yeah, this stuff's going to really be coming in handy. So, Nice. A mobilizer is awesome, by the way, just so you know. We have a lot to learn, as you can tell. Yeah, I think these these are awesome ones to focus on with him. Yeah, because um, he is going to be our kind of like primary damage dealer, so it's good to have all these. If I remember correctly, disabled, um, disable, sorry, works. Oh, oh no, so the immobilizer is what I'm thinking of. Like that, basically, it prevents enemies from moving and it like works on almost every enemy or something. From what I remember, it's like ridiculous. So you can use ninja swords as well, I forgot about that. She definitely needs more HP. <laughs> Think we can agree on that. Oh. It's fine, yeah, we'll focus on that a bit more. Look at what we can actually get. Yeah, we'll get Bosch. New weapon. And. Yeah, we'll give Balthair a lance. Oh, yeah, crossbow. Um, yeah, I think I'll pick that up. Ash. Yeah, I may as well sell all this absolute trash that I don't want anymore. So we'll equip him with that. Okay. Right. right now that that's done, let's continue. All right, speak to this guy here. Yeah, so basically, um, if I'm correct, we have to find the right person to talk to. Quite 
question is, who the hell is it? <laughs> Obviously, yeah, it's been a bit of time since I've, uh... Hey, I didn't mean to fucking speak to you, piss off. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've actually, uh... Can I? Nice. Yeah, and now... Yeah, now hopefully we get to find something out that could be useful. Nice. Alright. Bring it on. Yeah, now... We get to go speak to this fella. Yep. There we go. Yeah, doesn't this look very good. You have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus, I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? <sighs> so we wasted our time. In ages past, the gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraithwall flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the dynast king himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Yeah, so this this is something even if you knew how we're gonna to use the Nethysite, find out about later. But basically, the Nethysite was something the that the gods the stone bestowed upon ages past is lost, um, and with the world of Ivelisse, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who and, uh, will the stone in ages yeah, yet to come. You know, they, they, they're um, not to spoil too much, but they're basically more of a pantheon um, as opposed to a singular god this in this universe. So is devoid they, um, of you know, empty, yet very similar to what the Greek gods in that way, where they like to kind of, um, they like the idea of controlling um, mankind's the destiny of in a way. Men and of magic, of good and of evil. It is often those who you design Nethysite on the Nethysite itself. Is this the Evil Dead camera or something? <sighs> no. It's Larsa again. Larsa? sign looks kind of weird. It looks like it has some weird chicken face on it or something. No, maybe it's just me. Well, it wasn't a sign. It was more Super like their crest or something. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon. He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady oh. Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And, and Arcadia why is that a bad thing? No choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omasace. 
With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Dalmasca. As Queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Dalmasca and stop Marquis Ondor. Uh, for peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Dalmasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethicide were used on Rabinasta? You know my brother would do this. I get his plan, but obviously he seems to un like Forgive me. fail to realise that Vane wouldn't listen. No <laughs> so like, what would be the point? Bloodshed. I mean, I guess he, he is a kid and he's meant to be then, idealistic, please. but still. Take me like, he's not a brain? Because, you know, the Empire Asher. have enough power to beat the Rosarians, regardless of what Ash says, so... Didn't you? Plus, Damascus has no actual he power, do they? So you did see him too, but why? It's strange. Before, I didn't even know. But what obviously, there is more to Vane than. Uh, and the prince meets the eye. I barely knew there was a prince. And Who again, knows? we have Vaughn just Maybe inserting himself into the story. My brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. I mean, it is, it is really funny how they for what? they just he insert him into win. the story. To protect something. I mean, they could have just wrote him to how be a more important character, really, dead. couldn't they? But... Was it different for Prince I mean, saying Rockstar? that, I think he's meant to be more of a uh, self-insert type character, isn't he? For the whoever the player is. Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything I may have mentioned this in an earlier part, I mean, but also heard that I there, was there was a competition to decide on... In Japan, that is. Or, to hollow. decide on oh, well. um, Vaughn's design or something? I don't and know if that's true or not. I remember hearing I that. My brother. I think H.C. Bailey I'd mentioned that in like his Let's Play. I'm going to be a sky pirate or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. Mm -mm. I was just... I was running away. I mean, this is a good little character moment. I so. needed to get away Can't from complain death. too much, really, can I? That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. Awesome. I wish I knew. I'll find them. That is a cool looking scene though. Um, also, yeah, some of these cutscenes look really good in quality, like better than the in-game models. I don't know if it's just because they can create a scene with lighting and all that. I will accompany you to Mount Boromises. I had hoped you'd say yes. I am glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet, waiting on Bur Omises. Who is that? An enemy. And an ally also. Uh. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find out. That Larsa likes his secrets. Uh, he does not mean ill by it. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. Nice. Yeah. Didn't forget about these lot. They're still Early in the story. Boromi says stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yagd, obviously we Bosch's job is to by let ships. us know where we have to go. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yagd Yensa, right up mm -hmm. to Rifle's tomb. Pretty much. Skystone that works even in Yagd. You know, Nether Sight's behind it. As but always. No they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? 
You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Hmm. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you. And you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man would do the same. Obviously. Yeah, so now we have Larsa back again as a guest. Hey, how you doing? Yep. Yeah. What have you got? Ooh. Ah, that's very nice of them. Yeah, um... So yeah, chocobos are available now. Um, but... Uh, we are coming to an end, or we're coming to the end. So, um, yeah, I'm going to call it for this episode, and um, we'll catch you in the next one where we will make our way to Mount Boreomus. Um I'm sure it's going to be nice and quick to get there, easy, nothing in the way to get, you know, to interfere with our journey there. Uh, but anyway, have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one.